now, September 2nd, 2017, are the darkest night for the KT organization because they rolled on everything for KT to make it to Worlds, to be a champion. They shot for World Finals. They shot for being the best in the world, and they didn't even make it there. These superstars, Marta shattered, four of them only score, missed out on Worlds last year. They miss out again, the sinking feeling they may never be able to climb out of. We may never see this KT Rolster lineup ever play as five again. Name a team with worse luck than KT Rolster. You can't, right? Despite being the highest seed in the regional qualifier, KT Rolster failed to qualify for Worlds yet again. So to understand KT's bad luck to its fullest extent, let's go back to the very beginning. Twenty twelve. Formed near the end of 2012, KT Rolster were originally two separate teams, KT Rolster A and KT Rolster B. 2013. Both teams underwent a minor name change, officially becoming KT Rolster Arrows and KT Rolster Bullets. This year, the Arrows did a really good impression of a ghost, as in invisible. On the contrary, KT Bullets began to win titles, like at the 2013 MLG Winter Championship and the Asian Indoor Martial Arts Games. Unfortunately, the Bullets were unable to continue the momentum domestically and lost to SKT in the Hot Six Champions Summer Finals. And look at Ryu, he knows it's over! Champion Summer is over! SK Telecom coming back after being two down! The final game of the series, while close, gifted us this iconic dismantling of mid laner Ryu by Faker, which will haunt him for the rest of his career. I think he's in the bed. Oh, Faker may be in trouble here. Death Mark tries to clean it up for Ryu. Oh, look at the cleanse. Look at the moves. Faker, what was that? Faker with a huge what? play. The QSS. I can't believe I just saw that. KT Bullets later went on to finish second in the regional qualifier, meaning no ticket to Worlds. This marked the beginning of the close but not close enough curse that would play KT for years to come. 2014. This was the KT Rolster Eros' year to shine. They took down the likes of SKT, Samsung White, and Samsung Blue to win first place in the summer season. Usually, that would be enough to secure a direct spot at Worlds. Unfortunately, at this time in Korea, only the top two teams via circuit points and the winner of the regional qualifier got to go to Worlds. Samsung White and Blue qualified based on points, forcing the arrows and bullets to fight for a world spot in the gauntlet. And it wasn't pretty. Still lurking. Prime, Prime. They're trying to get back there. Prime in trouble. There's a death mark. And it is indeed a mark of death. Anyone who steps into River is just going to die. This is the last oh, one. Save walks up onto Destiny Gorilla and Goon coming in. Watch the rest of Nodge and Shield collapses. There's a knock up. Destiny gets kicked back. He's going to go down. Solar Flare doesn't even matter. Moore gets a few free auto attacks as well as. Uh, the Caustic Spittle safe flashes out. Destiny gets onto it, but look at that. Watch turns around, Flash Cocoon and Nagne. Oops. There go the Nexus turrets, and for the second day in a row, we're going to see a 3 0. Najin Shield will crush the KT Bullets, and they're going to move on to face the arrows tomorrow. KT That's Bullets right. lost to Najin White Shield 3 0. Their sister team followed suit and got taken out by Najin in the same manner. Whoa, that was a not the best calling ever. Yeah, don't anyway if even do that. Oh, Achani tosses the ult doesn't hit anyone. They catch Achani anyway. Goon comes over the wall to finish him off. Achani's getting low save, meanwhile, just takes the turret. They're so careful about these engages. No extra engaging that doesn't need to be done. Watch jumps into the back lines. Arrow fighting for his life. Goon comes in onto Someday now. Another kill for save. And Shield should be able to close it out right here. Two kills for Zeppa. And that will be about it. Just transitioning right onto the Nexus turrets. And believe it or not, guys, the champion summer champions, KT Arrows, eliminated 3-0 in the gauntlet. And Najin Shield goes on to fight for a spot at Worlds. Both KT squads failed to make it to Worlds yet again. 2015. The LCK axed sister teams, forcing KT Rolster Arrows and Bullets to combine into one. But that wasn't the only change. 
The LCK also made it so that the winner of the summer split automatically qualifies for Worlds. Now while KT made it to the finals of the summer split, they ultimately lost to SKT in a 3-0 stomp. And they didn't do it. Let's watch this play so here see on the Nogne. First the distortions cancel. Wait for the Mimic as well. Cancelled by the Empress Divide. That's so much damage. Completely taken away from Nogne and just assassinated. They are looking for angles on Baker. And this is... All right, see, we do see oh. a little bit of scrap in How here. How tanky Alvarez. is he? Very, very tanky. But is he 4v1 tanky? I don't know about that. Mengi trying to save his top laner, Bang. Trying as well. They're going to keep him alive. Bang goes deep. Never mind. Knock up. Honda score there. Not going to make it out. And Marin, how tanky is he? Well, he is 4v1 tanky right now. That's how tanky he is. Advantage. And look, oh, oh. there's a ward there. Baker gets grabbed. No flash. He's in trouble now. Trying to make something out of it. Here comes Wolf. Does he have level six? No, not yet. Teleport coming in for SKT, but Baker getting low. A huge ultimate from Marin. Baker still goes down, though. First blood goes to score, but it's not over yet. Wolf in a bit of trouble now. Someday all over and Bang trying to body block for his support. Here comes Bengi. A huge melee in the jungle. Can KT keep their players alive? It's going to be tough. Arrow coming from the side. No, he's got a lot of health. And wow, this is low. Bang takes out Victor. Pinkaboo. Bang, can he get him as well? Or Bengi trying to take him out. Wolf gets a bloodthirsty kill. And meanwhile, Pinkaboo goes down as well. Uh-oh. Look at the minimap. Yeah, he is. Wolf trying to distract. Yep, there's an arrow. Oh bang. my gosh, is this arrow. Ash arrow going to hit? This Ash arrow nods, but Bang comes in, takes one inhibitor turret. He's going for the next one. They're delaying it, and Bang is going to win Champion Summer for his team, SK Telecom. However, not all hope was lost. KT played through the regional qualifier and took down Janair Green Wings in the finals. Looks like it is. They're going to try to go in on this. Siveralt used, just going to scare him away from the turret. Nice hook on the trace. Can they get him, though? He's pretty tanky. Ooh, not that tanky, though. Gets taken down very fast, and this could be it. Fizzled in onto Che, and that's going to let them push forward for that mid lane inhibitor turret. KT pressuring to end the game, pressuring to end the series, and pressuring to send themselves to Worlds 2015. There goes the Nexus turret, though. A kill on the GBM. He's the first to fall on Jin Air, and that is going to be maybe it. Score getting chased around by Chase and Pilot, though. A disjointed fight, and has Jin Air maybe found it? No, the Nexus turrets are gone, and Nogne stops on Che, and that is gonna be it. A double kill for Nogne, making a triple, and KT Rolster, after they finish up Chase or Quadra, they are going to Worlds. KT had finally qualified for their first ever World Championship. Placed in Group D along with LGD Gaming, Origin, and TSM, KT Rolster made it out in first of their group, but not without making some misplays along the way. Yeah, side wave control has been good for KT as well. TSM looking for an opportunity. Wild Turtle gets caught though. Pushed back to the pulverize. Actually did not knock him up, I guess. And Skull running back up from the base. Yeah, to really, try to make something happen. really tense moment in the game right now. Oh, just got out. What? what is he doing up there? Got it. That male's going back in. Gets a bit onto Nogget. Then Darius gets a big wave. Before it was down to some that he got the wave and oh, oh I I okay, that was uh, not a good decision. Bjorkson. Oh, I missed that that one. Missed him for yes. and there's a kill for Bjorkson in the 1v1 in mid. In the quarterfinals, they met a fellow Korean team, the Koo Tigers, who took them down in a 3-1 series. Bit low as score comes from the side, Pikachu there as well. Score gets taken down, a kill for Kuro, and Koo with that kill may have done it. The Nexus is exposed, and in summer season, it was KT Rolster, but Koo with a chance at revenge in just four games this time, and there it is! Koo Tigers go to the semifinals! KT's first run at Worlds ended in the quarterfinals. But better luck next year, right? Wrong. 2016. SKT, if they can win this fight, they can win the game. There goes the Nexus turret. Still fighting. There goes the Nexus. SKT just needs to focus it. They do. Getting a few more kills on the way. But they're going to finish it off in the end, I think. Yeah, OK, they can want to keep fighting. Nope, Duke wants it. There we go. <laughs> SKT going to the Spring Grand Finals. What Ending the regular spring split in second place yet again, KT got stomped by SKT in the playoff semifinal. Fast forward to the summer split. KT were bumped down to third place as the Rocks Tiger surged past SKT to claim first in the regular season. Starting in the second round of playoffs, 
KT Rolster had to face Samsung Galaxy, SKT, and the Rocks Tigers for a spot at Worlds. After taking down Samsung in a convincing 3-0 victory, as the Nexus goes down, that is it. KT will take the match 3-0. GG. KT went on to face the team that always got the better of them, SKT. Many thought SKT would go on to the finals and assume their natural place as the best team in Korea. But KT managed to do the unthinkable. Right, shields that one off, and KT, they're just tiptoeing around looking for the end. Have to wait for that Nar bar, which somebody is starting to build back up. Mike, Mike get a hell of a lot of damage. One more hit from the Nar actually would have finished him off. The shield comes through from Baker. He's going to go in deep with the onslaught of shadows. Doesn't get punished yet. Actually, is able to make it out. Duke. Now the Guardian Angel is going to get popped. Snap back from Duke as he's trying to stick into the back line. They're, they're, on the Arab, they're on the Nexus, and KT Rolster! KT defeated SKT in a grueling five game series. Bringing it back three games in a row, and they are going to the finals on the 20th to face against the Rocks Tigers. With success within arm's reach, KT met the Rocks Tigers in the finals. Turns out, the Rocks Tigers proved a little bit too much for KT. By Kuro there. By coming in. They caught a Johnny! They caught a Johnny! They got him! There goes the inhibitor now, and this may be it. Rocks Tigers moving in. It's a 5v4. They're going to get the final inhibitor, and now. This group of players that had either retired or been rejected by other teams comes in. No big sponsor, no big team house. It's not necessary because they are going to win LCK Summer and they are going to get a spot in Worlds again. There it is. Rux Tigers take it. GG. It's about time. While it was a moment of triumph for Rox, it was just another disappointment for KT Rolster. In a last attempt to make it to Worlds, KT had to face Samsung Galaxy in the finals of the regional qualifier. So, getting lower, they're gonna go for it. Score looking to steal. Slicing Maelstrom for Kube. That's a double kill immediately. Samsung crushes the team fight. They destroy KT, and that's gotta be the series. And Samsung, the improbable, the impossible is happening. They are going to Worlds after losing 19 games in a row, not beating KT Rolster since 2014. Ambition, one game away from Worlds and not making it four years ago. Now today, 2016, Ambition and Samsung are going to Worlds. The KT curse continued. Imagine making it to the finals in both the summer playoffs and regional qualifier, only to lose in close 3-2 series. Unfortunately, this was the reality for KT Rolster. 2017. It seems like KT Rolster were tired of losing. The newly formed roster gathered together some of the most prolific players in the scene. Deft and Mata in the bot lane. The monster Smeb in the top lane. Mid laner Pawn. Remember his sick solo kill on Faker? <laughs> And finally, Score, the heart of KT and arguably one of the best junglers in the world. How could this star-studded roster possibly fail? He's up about 25 CS on the Ash now as well. Oh, oh Mata missed the flash. Oh, and a nice bit of damage going down onto him. The Baron, sorry, has been stopped. Oh, Pawn doesn't find anything and is just going to get picked. That was a huge mistake from KT. In the spring playoffs, KT Rolster ended up short, just behind SKT. Take him out, but SK Telecom in the meantime, they've done it. Less than 30 minutes on the clock. They take down the Nexus. They take down KT Rolster. They put another championship title on their belt. But who really cares about the spring split, right? Let's move forward to the split that actually matters, the summer split. KT Rolster finished in second place in the regular season, and not without some hiccups along By the way. All, at all costs. If they lose that tower, KT's gonna be able to pressure a Baron, they can tank forever, they have Kalista, so it needs to be in their book. The Herald will be picked up, right? They're not gonna, right? <laughs> they're not gonna forget about it, right? Right? <laughs> Still there. I'm actually embarrassed to say I don't know how long it lasts on the ground. That, that Do you have any idea? It, it that doesn't live forever. It's about I think a couple minutes. I would think it would be maybe like two minutes. It left. Are you kidding me, KT? Q playoffs. SKT were slowly on the rise after breaking an eight-game losing streak. 
but their final record meant they had to start their playoff run in the wild card stage, whereas KT were seeded into the semifinals. Surely, KT couldn't lose, right? Not much further. KT, a couple more shots. One more, there you go. That's gonna be it. Snap on flash. Goes in, looking for the play. Big knockup coming through off the backside of the pulverize. Bang in the back line. Does force out the Sonyas from Pawn as he stays alive. Cataclysm thrown down by Blank, trying to cut off the rest of the members. And Bang finds the first kill, getting rid of Pawn. Pop score back into the passive, and now is pushing forward, looking to heal up off of these Ooslings. Finds it as Untara claims the life of Smev. It's just death and mana left alive, but they might not be lasting much longer. There you go. The Sivir all on her lonesome, but it doesn't even matter. There's nothing that depth can do. SK Telecom in the semifinal. They're going on to play against Longju a week from today. It's the reverse sweep, bringing it back in. They win three to two. Okay, so KT didn't win the summer playoffs, but they still had one more shot to qualify for Worlds. As the top seed going into the regional qualifier, KT had to just defeat one team, one team to go to Worlds. But apparently, History likes to repeat itself. Time for 35 minutes. The minion waves haven't been just owning Samsung Galaxy. Oh, They're coming from multiple angles. Fisher not going to find the lockdown. The time has the Banshee's Veil. It's going to be an all out brawl. Smep goes in rather deep, but he is just going to get popped. Scorch AJ finds a fight. Double delivery coming through, and that might just be it. Ruler finds the kill. Mata's going to go down. Three members dead. Samsung pushing in. Now looking for Pawn. Not going to get the knockup, but he is still all on his lonesome in the mid lane. Scorch tries to poke in from the sidelines. But they have him. Ruler finds the kill. 13 to 13. Samsung will get a knock down the turret here in the mid lane. A score tries to proxy the way, but they're still going to go for the win. Cube, he is beat me. He is tanky. They might be able to do it right here, Papa Smithy. I, I can't think Samsung's believe gonna do it. it. They've actually done it. They're going to knock down the turrets. Samsung Galaxy will beat KT Rolster. A 3 0 victory. A score does his damnedest to stop it, but there's just no avail. He will fail. The Nexus will crumble. And Samsung. Some Galaxy are going to Worlds alongside SK Telecom and Longshu Gaming. KT Rolster will once again not go to Worlds, despite their highly anticipated roster, adding yet another sad chapter to their already sad story. It was a failure when they were really forced into tough situations. They choked again and again, and it's amazing how Samsung doesn't change their roster. KT stacks them, and yet here we are. Thanks for watching. If you want more great content, be sure to hit that subscribe button.